Hello, let's learn how Cloud Pack for Automation can help you automate at speed and scale. Over centuries, humans applied automation to improve the lives of millions of people, from aqueducts for water, printing presses for books, and assembly lines for Model T cars. For today's digital business, we need a pre-integrated platform that includes workflow for human and robotic orchestration, decisions for business rule management, content services for collaboration and governance, and data capture for unstructured document processing. Supported by operational intelligence for a 360-degree view of your operations so you can take action in real time. Let's use IBM Blueworks Live, a companion SaaS product to the Cloud Pack for Automation, to model our business scenario for the demonstration, account opening. Take any account in your business and think about how you could automate the opening process. We start in blue to capture unstructured data from documents and export it in a structured form that our workflow can use. The workflow orchestrates a mix of human tasks in orange and risk scoring subprocesses in green that use integration, rules, machine learning, and even robots to optimize the application review. We then refer to a linked onboarding process in gray for completion. Starting with data capture, we see the batch monitoring user interface where we can manually process a new document and extract the structured information. For production, this is done at scale and connected to multiple ingest systems such as scanners, messaging, and more. After upload, let's submit the document for processing. We already trained the system to classify the document, an account document in this case, and extract appropriate key values. We can optionally verify the work for any low confidence results, such as this demo document, by comparing the document on the left with the extracted values on the right. Once verification is complete, the structured data and the original document are exported directly to the Enterprise Content Repository, which results in an automatic content event to which the case workflow is listening. Using model-driven low-code design tools seen here, the workflow is easily configured with two required and three optional activities. For end users, a unified Navigator web UI provides access to the required resources such as documents and workflows. A customer service rep can manually launch the case and enter the information from the document, but since Capture is integrated, the case is automatically launched and populated, as well as routed to the correct person for processing, freeing up the CSR for more valuable interactions with the customer. Taking on the role of a back office employee, we open the activity assigned and review the structured data extracted by the Capture step, as well as the original document. The Capture system can be configured to automatically redact sensitive information, or the knowledge worker can do it themselves. All content is stored in an integrated enterprise content repository for consistency, security, and governance. While completing a checklist, our knowledge worker realizes photo identification is required and performs a cross-repository search in the content store to locate identification for the customer. They find it, verify it in the virtual viewer, add it to the workflow record, and complete the checklist. The workflow is as flexible as required for the business, as this knowledge worker has permission to define a new quick task at any time. They can add colleagues to help them and provide them access to the data, set a due date, add instructions, and even collaborate with comments. For the demo, we'll check off this task we just added so we can move forward. The knowledge worker next decides this customer requires a more detailed risk evaluation and chooses to launch an optional sub-process. Back in the low-code design environment, it is simple to model the sequence of steps for the risk subprocess, including data integration, business rule evaluation, and some robotic assistance. And diving into the rule-based decision, we see another low-code editor so that decisions can be easily updated by the business, reused across your organization's processes and systems, as well as easily audited when required. All the knowledge worker needs to do is add the additional required information, and the subprocess is launched. Now let's become a risk analyst and take a look at the resulting activity we are assigned. The automated decision was made, and this customer requires a manual risk assessment. The first task to look up accounts is a bit repetitive, so the risk analyst asks a robot to help. The robot can be triggered automatically by the workflow, or left for the end user to decide, as we'll do now. The robot is now running, but we'll slow it down significantly so we can see what happens. The robot opens an application and performs a search with data from the workflow. It then copies the results and automatically enters them into the workflow system. All done! And the risk analyst is ready for their final review. Accepting the task, they review the available data, note the risk score pre-assigned by the business rules, and decide to review additional data. The accounts retrieved by the robot are available here, but they need additional help. Luckily, the rules provide an explanation for their pre-assigned score. And additionally, Watson AI was used with the data from Business Automation Insights to make a recommendation based on historical data automatically captured and made available in a data lake for machine learning analysis. The risk analyst accepts the Watson recommendation and submits their final response. Returning to the original knowledge worker's role, we review the risk score results from the subprocess, 
and record a final decision to approve the account. In review, we modeled the automation work in Blueworks Live, companion to the Cloud Pack for Automation, and then we saw how to capture data from the content in blue, organize a workflow of humans in orange, and engage robots and business decisions in green. If you would like to learn more about the typical client outcomes using IBM's Cloud Pack for Automation, feel free to pause the video now. You can also check out more videos, such as this deep dive into Business Automation Insights that provides a 360-degree view of your operations in real time.